Hello, well it's several weeks since I last did a YouTube video As you can see, I'm still not out and about But I thought I'd give you an update on my recovery after my prostate removal For those of you that saw my live feed a few weeks ago I did say I was going to do a, a daily update Unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse and I was rushed back into hospital uh, what happened was I had the prostate removed everything seemed fine I was discharged the following day and on the Sunday evening two days after the operation my condition deteriorated rapidly I ended up phoning 999 for an ambulance uh, having extreme difficulty breathing Luckily the ambulance was with me within 11 minutes I couldn't even get out of bed to let them in Fortunately my bed is next to the bedroom window so I managed to throw the keys out of the bedroom window to let the ambulance crew in I was in quite a state uh, My blood pressure was very low My oxygen levels were low My heart rate was all over the place Needless to say the managed to stabilise me to get me in the ambulance after an hour of working on me in my bedroom got me into hospital um, I had an x-ray, several tests, CT scans and then was given some quite horrific news what had happened is my bowel had ruptured and I needed another major operation to put it right I was told that so it's quite difficult for me to talk about it still um, I was told that having um, two major operations in 48 hours put my life at risk and there was a very good chance I would die on the operating table if I didn't have the operation within the next few hours then that's it, I would die that day so it was Robson's choice really, I had to go, away, go, go ahead with the operation I remember lying on the operating theatre and the general anaesthetic thinking this is it, I'm gone fortunately as you can see I survived And I found out the following day that what had actually happened was during my prostate removal the surgeons found that my prostate had actually adhered itself to my bowel now what I'm telling anybody that's looking for looking sorry I hope anybody who's thinking about an operation isn't put off by what happened to me this is a very rare complication Hospital I was in do several prostate removals every day and this is the only second time this year that this has happened to any of their patients Fortunately the rupture wasn't as bad as they expected They were preparing to remove my bowel and fit me with a stoma and that is, the, that is part of the operation that I didn't really stand much chance of surviving but fortunately I managed to do a little repair on, on it it was only a very small rupture I recovered, I was spent 10 days in hospital certainly no fit state to do any daily vlogs I had pipes going into me, drain pack tubes coming out of me wired up to all sorts of machines, I was, I was very poorly well, that was five weeks ago, I'm well on the mend now Sun at 100% uh, I'm out and I'm out walking but only around the local area, around the houses where I live Hope to be out into the countryside in the next three or four weeks We'll see how things go and just do a short two or three mile walk I'm still here Out and about in Martin will continue so things are looking up 
I'd like to thank the ambulance crew from the Yorkshire Ambulance Service that attended me. Very professional, knew what they were doing, were very caring and very thorough with everything they did. Took really good care of me. I'd also like to thank the nurses and auxiliary staff on the first four ward at Northern General Hospital who took care of me during my recovery. They were amazing and really looked after me. And of course I'd like to thank the surgeons and all the theatre staff at Northern General Hospital who did save my life. Thank you very much. Very lucky to have the NHS in this country. Some amazing staff working for them. As for whether the prostate removal operation was successful, only time will tell. I went back to the hospital yesterday for a PSA blood check. Still waiting for results of that. Should get them next week. That is the first indication as to whether or not all the cancer has been removed. Still have to wait several more weeks for the first of my scans, but I feel fine, tired, that's all, but yeah, feel fine, a bit sore. All the wounds are healing nicely. I've had, my catheter, had an internal catheter fitted, that's now been removed. I am having incontinence problems, which is normal with this operation, so I now have an external catheter fitted, which is a lot more comfortable and easier to manage. So I hope to see you again sometime in the near future, out and about in that beautiful countryside. So for now, bye and see you again.